Hey guys, this is Amjivet with another tutorial about how we can create a list in Google Sheets and organize it and prioritize popular categories in it. Well, here I have a simple sheet with two columns, product category and customer type. And instead of adding the data by typing, we can create a list with the help of data validation. And here is the list of product categories that I want to create in the drop down list. And since there is nothing else to be written in this column, we can select the whole column and then go to data tab and select data validation. It will open a small pop up window and since it would be a list from the range, we don't need to change this option. Then select your product list range by clicking on the select data range. And if you don't want it to be a relative range, then just lock the range by putting the dollar signs. And since we don't want to add another category than the ones we have in our list, just select the reject input option. And if you want to show the data validation help text, then select this option, otherwise leave it as it is. And then click on save. Now here you can see that a drop down option has appeared on every cell in the column. And instead of adding the data by typing, we can just click on the drop down option and select the one we need. Well, if we want to add a new category in the list, we sure can do. Just write your new category by inserting a new cell in the range. And here you can see that it's been shown right away in the drop down list. Here I'm undoing all that by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Or add your new category at the end of the list. And since the list is not in a tabular form, it won't show in the drop down list automatically. And what we can do is just insert a cell in the list range and drag and drop it there. And here you can see that it's been shown in the drop down list. Well, the list can be quite long and it would be time consuming to find the one we need if the list hasn't been organized. So it would be a good idea of organizing the list alphabetically. Now just select your list and right click on it and select sort range from the options and click on sort button to alphabetize it. Now here you can see that the list has been sorted alphabetically and it would be much convenient to find and add the category we want. Well if a certain category is being sold mostly then we sure can prioritize that category at the top of the list. To do that just put some dashes in a cell and insert a new cell in the list range and drag the dash cell there. And here you can see that the cloth category looks like the top category. And let's consider office supplies is also being sold mostly. So insert a cell and drag and drop it there. Now here you can see that the cloth and office supplies are being shown as the top categories in the list and we can pick them quite conveniently. Well it's not mandatory or important that the list we want to create will be on the same sheet. It can be on another sheet too. Let's say create a drop down list for the customer type column. Just select the whole column and open data validation window and click on select data range and go to the sheet and select the range where your customer type list exists. And then click on save. Now a drop down option has appeared in every cell in the customer type column. And we can select the customer type by selecting from the drop down list conveniently. Moreover, we can hide and unhide the list column if needed. And since the drop down option is not necessary in the headings, we sure can clear that. Just select the headings and open data validation window. Here we just need to click on the remove validation button. And it will remove the drop down list option from the headings. Anyhow, creating a drop down list helps speed up the data. It also helps with consistency and accuracy. 
especially no one will misspell any word at all. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.